In this episode of Theming with the WPRST API, we are going to be creating pagination. So we are going to have two buttons at the bottom of our posts and we are not going to be displaying 20 posts or whatever, we are going to be displaying five or six posts. And uh, we are going to have two buttons, previous and next, and then with those buttons we can uh, cycle through the pages of our post list. Uh, this technique is actually inspired by this uh, Medium article by a developer called Alex Kirakiris and uh, he explains in this article how to create pagination with, with Vue.js and Laravel. <coughs> but since we are not using Laravel and we don't have the luxury of, cre uh, of Laravel's API, so as you can see here, uh, Laravel's give, uh, Laravel gives you an object or called pagination and it has the, all the information that you need. WP REST API doesn't give us uh, this object, uh, so we are going to have to calculate some things, but we will make it work somehow. So let's get to it. So first of all, let's talk about how you can get paginated content from your WP REST API. If you go to WP JSON WP V2 posts, you would get all the posts that you have in your WordPress installation. But if you want to paginate them or only show five posts, you can do something like this. So you would do question mark filter posts per page equals five. Okay, and now we get just five posts. So this is going to be an important URL for us. Next thing you can do, you can do end sign and do page, let's say two. Now you would also get five uh, posts, but you would get uh, the five posts that are on the page two of your uh, Word WordPress post list if you are doing pagination. So as you can see, we still have these five posts right here. We can all, of course make this six, seven, whatever. Okay, so we will need these two uh, URLs to create our Vue.js pagination. So first of all, I'm going to get rid of these posts right here. Uh, then I'm going to get rid of in this ready uh, function right here. I'm going to read of this post get. So we are not going to be getting any posts. We are going to be getting categories. And that's about it. Next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to create get posts method. So right here, get posts. And I'm going to pass it a number. I'm going to pass a number of the page uh, that we are on. So I'm going to call this page number. Okay. Next thing, I'm going to define our posts. So posts equals to. So like we discussed before, uh, this is the URL for our posts, and post per page is going to be six because we have three in a row, so six is a good number for us. And the page is going to be this page number that we pass into our function. So plus page number. Okay, so the next thing we are going to be doing is we're going to uh, define the current page, so the page that we are on. So uh, when we are on page two, uh, the, uh, the previous page is the page number one. So page two minus one is going to be previous page and page two plus one is going to be the next page. So this current page equals page number. So whatever we pass in here is going to be set as the current page. So now we need to get the post from our API. So we just do this dot http dot get posts and then we do then. So when you get the posts, then do something else. Uh, we do function response 
so we are getting some kind of a response right here and that response is actually our posts so we want to set those posts so we do this set posts to be response dot data okay and the next thing we need to do we need to uh, call this method get posts in our ready function so we are just going to do get posts actually this get posts and of course since we are getting a page number right here and when you load the page uh, you would always be on the first page so we are going to send it a number one and that should actually be it let's just save this and check out if this works okay so now as you can see we are getting only six posts okay next thing we are going to be doing we are going to kind of calculate our uh, our pagination uh, so that we can make the buttons to take us to some links and so on so after we get the posts we want to make our pagination so we are going to do this dot make make pagination and we are going to send it this response that we got from our API okay response and then we create another meth method called make pagination okay and first thing we need to do is actually set all the pages so how do we get the uh, number of pages that we have in our WP REST API or the in the response that we are getting so let me show you this <clears throat> if we go right here and open up developer tools and go to network and refresh this page I'm just going to try to okay uh, if you go right here so it says post filter post per page and so on if you click on this we will get uh, this response that we are getting right here but if you check out the headers uh, you would get something like xwp total is 20 so this is the total number of posts that we have and you would get xwp total pages so for some reason uh, the wp rest api gives you this information in the headers of the page so what we need to do now we need to get uh, this number right here so we want to know how many pages do we actually have so in this case we have four so to do that we go to our app.js and do this set this set all pages we are going to call this all pages and now you have to get data that we are actually passing right here so I'm going to call this data so to this function data dot headers so that's how you get the headers via Vue.js from uh, from your API headers and then you do this braces and you do x wp total pages and we can just check this out if we are getting the right data so I'm just going to do console.log uh, this dot all pages and of course uh, we need to define that data right here so just initialize them okay let's save this refresh the page 
or something went wrong. Let me just see. Unexpected token on line 48. Okay, so I have a semicolon right here instead of a... Okay, save this. Let's try it again. And as you can see, we get the number 4 right here. So that's the number of total pages that we have. Okay, now we have total pages. Next thing we need to do, we need to set up <coughs> our previous and next page. So we can do this. Just comment this out. And to set up the previous page, we just do this, that set. We are going to call it prev page is going to be this dot current page that we set up before minus one. So whatever the page you are on, previous page is going to be this page minus one. Okay, and uh, we need to set up the next page, and this is going to be uh, this dot set next page to be this current page plus one and now we have uh, our previous and next pages of course this isn't uh, very correct right now because if you are on page number one you wouldn't have a previous page also if in our case you are on page number four you wouldn't have a next page so we are going to deal with that a bit later uh, but for right now I'm just going to save this and define my data right here so prev page and next page okay so we have them initialized right here and now we are going to be creating our pagination buttons so under the post list div in a container div around uh, line 67 I'm just going to paste in our pagination and we're going to take a look at it so this is a div with the class of pagination of course all the CSS is already written for this and then we have page number of all pages and then we have these buttons right here so with these buttons we are actually calling this get posts method and we are passing in the page that we want to see so in this case uh, we are going to try to get to the previous page and we define the previous page right here so the previous page is going to be current page minus one so if we are on page two minus one is one so we are actually passing number one right here and for the next page is it's the same thing except the next page is defined right here also we have these disabled uh, Vue.js tags or attributes uh, which say if there is no previous page then this button should be disabled also if there is no next page then this uh, button should be disabled so if we save this and go right here refresh the page we should be seeing this previous and next uh, buttons but uh, as you can see right here uh, we have page of four so we are getting all the pages but we are not getting the current page and this is because I forgot to initialize current page right here so if we save this and refresh it come on what happened right now okay so for some reason it didn't work uh, okay so page is one of four now we are getting all the pages as you can see but the previous button doesn't work right now because the previous page is actually zero so we are not getting it uh, but the next button works so if we click on it so now we are on page number two of four as you can see then 
page number three, page number four, and now we are on page number five of four. So we need to deal with this. So we don't want to go to the next page indefinitely. So we can go even to the page number six, but we don't have any content there. So we would have to make some conditionals to make this not happen. Okay, so to do that, we're going to go to our app.js file and first of all, when setting up a previous page, we are going to just for clarity sakes write this. As you can see, the previous page uh, disables the button and it works, but we are going to do it anyway, just to be sure. So this dot current page is bigger than one, then you should set this previous page to be current page minus one or else set this previous page to be null or zero. So what we are saying right here, if the current page is bigger than one, so if it's page number two, three and so on, then uh, set this page to be current page minus one. But if we are on page number one, so there are no previous pages, then set the previous page to be null. And we do the similar thing right here. So we do if this current page is equal to all pages, all pages, then set the next page to be null. else set it to be a current page plus one. So what we are saying right here, if the current page, so the page we are on is let's say number four and all the pages that we have are also number four. So if this is equal, then the next page doesn't exist and the next page should be null and then our button should be disabled else so if we are not on the last page uh, you can set the uh, the next page to be current page plus one save this now if we ref refresh our application we should be so the previous page doesn't work now it works because we are on page number two next next now we are on page number four and as you can see we can't go any further so if i click next it doesn't work. Okay guys, so this is it for pagination video. Of course, uh, if you have the knowledge, you can use all this data that you get from WP REST API and create real pagination with the numbers and so on. But uh, as you can see, this episode is pretty long to make a simple pagination. I wouldn't want to get into creating a full-fledged uh, navigation, but I think for most applications, this should be actually enough. Okay, uh, so this is it for this video. Uh, remember, everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. If you like this video, guys, please like it. If you like the channel, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, you can also follow me or ask me questions on Twitter, Facebook, GitHub uh, below this video or on my website. Thank you guys for watching uh, and I'll see you in the next episode.